Welcome back to Ahmed's channel that he never uploads on. <laughs> Intro. <laughs> So I used to, yeah, this, this, yeah, this is my pattern. I used to wake up 9 a.m., edit till about 1, 2 p.m., start the vlog day at 2 till 9. That's, that's four or five hours of editing, guys, if you don't understand. Like, yeah. That's like four or five hours just sitting there editing. So, so yeah. are you finished at so what yeah, time? Yeah, finish at around 1, two. do everything you can, and then know that you failed because of yourself. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, though. Really? <laughs> I always told myself at 25 you'd be a billionaire and I'm just I'm not really? even close yeah <laughs> so before we get into the video be sure to enter our brand new giveaway we'll be giving away any of these items it's your choice to enter the giveaway leave a like comment the keyword subscribe channel notifications and make sure you watch the whole video it's that easy what's up guys and welcome to my first podcast with Yo. your boy Mo vlogs and we're gonna talk about his road from being homeless that is incorrect hey guys what's up Mo here welcome to another video now today's video is going to be a full vlog don't worry about that but in the beginning i'm going to go show you guys my watch collection since a couple of you asked to see them properly and if you're wondering why i'm wearing it's a towel i sleep with this and i just woke up if you can't see my hair is scruffy so yeah let's start this vlog <laughs> Being, <laughs> from being middle class or lower middle class to where he is today, yes. mashallah, multi-millionaire and um, I, I know a lot of guys, you see more vlogs, you see his cars outside, you see the lifestyle, you see the luxury, but they don't really understand the amount of work and time and persistence and resilience that goes into this kind Thank of you. career. So. Today I thought we would take a deeper look at the road and your journey to how you made it from such a <laughs> bad place in your life to something like this which is a lot of people who's watching I'm assuming it's their dream yeah. to reach your position where you are today. So for those of you who don't know, this is my brother Ahmed. Ahmedu, right, guys, he, he's been in my life for four years. So literally when I was starting YouTube, yeah, I remember this, this is the guy that he sent me an email telling me to come drive a Bugatti. <laughs> you know, that, that's the guy right here. So it's been a journey. I think like, I'm happy you're doing this because you've seen a lot of it. Yeah, you know, guys, I don't know. I, I've always been with Mo and I've always seen his, his journey and it's always inspired me. And I thought that some of the people, they need to hear the story. Yeah. Know? And they need to be inspired the same way I've been inspired by you. Oh. Feel me? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. He does nothing. He just sits at home all day. I just sit at home. <laughs> okay, Mo, well, I want to ask you first of all. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know. High school. Did you finish high school? What year did you leave high school? Tell me about it. So I finished high school, year 12, 13, A levels. Okay, so British system, A levels. Yeah, British system, A levels. And I, I, and I went to university and I only ended up doing one year, but. I, I was smart. Like, okay, I wouldn't say smart. Sorry, A levels, you did good. A levels, I did very, very well. So year was twelve, a, year thirteen. Year twelve, year thirteen, year twelve. I came out with two A stars, two A's. Like, I was top three students in my entire school. No way. Like literally, top three. So th those three people got the exact same grades, and that was me and two other kids. No you know, way. top three in your twelve. Yeah. And then and you, you enjoyed it at that time. No, were you enjoying school? I was enjoying school with friends, you know, but I didn't enjoy the. But like, were you working really hard to achieve no. those grades? No, uh, and, and I know it sounds crazy. But no, you're just chilling. Uh, and, yeah, and that guys, and that's a weird thing. A lot of people might say like, "Oh, he's just saying that." Like, honestly, I didn't really like studying, <laughs> but I kind of had a smart way of doing it. You know what I mean? So like, I literally just used to buy these, like, you know, these these thin books that have just like the the summaries. Oh, yeah. So I used to just read the summary books, not the big books. Yeah. So I used to just skip those big books, just throw them to the side, do the summary books, and that's yeah. it, you know? But anyways, and what subjects were you were you I was doing, doing and literally the hardest like, maths, physics, chemistry, biology. What? Yeah, maths, physics, chemistry, biology. <laughs> like literally really hard. I was just like, alright, what's the what's the worst? Because I know me, I did like some of these rough, right. yeah. <laughs> media <laughs> from media guys, I did media in high school. My the only homework they told me for the whole year year ten or Great year eleven <laughs> they're like no just watch any TV shows you can no, find Dra any drama TV shows so we can talk about it later in your no essays. so yeah I, I did my levels I That's was some hard I was doing really well so year twelve I did 
amazing. Top, top three students. And then the way A-levels work is year 12 and 13 get combined. Yeah. You know, the grades get combined. So year 13, I was already on the like, I just didn't like it anymore. I didn't like what I was studying. I just found it useless and I, I, for me it wasn't for me you know so you're 13 you weren't feeling like you, I, I wasn't you, feeling you, like this is your lane you weren't feeling yeah like, it just wasn't the stuff that I wanted to learn about so you're 13 that's weird you know because some people I know some people they don't really care about what they're studying about but like when they see the grades they're just happy about that, that they're doing that there's something that they're really good at yeah and that's enough motivation for them just to keep I know honestly I'll, I'll say this guys I honestly feel like Education is important. I feel like going to school and university is important. Okay. But it also depends on what you want to do, you know? I know some people just go there because they just want to go there or they're forced to go there. But I think generally, I think you have to finish at least up to high school, you know, because there's a lot of people that haven't gone to school and then you realize like, oh, it, it does help a lot in just general knowledge and yeah, you know, some common people, they, sense, yeah. you know? Some uh, People make excuses when it comes to this stuff. Like. Yeah. So anyways, year 12, I did really well. Year 13, I honestly, like at that point, I was just really not even bothering to read any books, like nothing, you know? So year, year 13, my my grades came down and it averaged out to an AAB. So from two A stars and an A, the a. second year my result was actually a C. So it brought the A star down to a B. Mm. So, by the way, that year, guys, I had an offer letter to LSC, which is the best university in London. That's London School of Economics, guys. London School of Economics, the top university. I had an offer letter from them, and to get the offer letter, that's the hardest that's part. Like that, that, that's no, it is the hardest part because yeah. the offer letter is more than the actual grades to get there so yeah like once because once you get that offer letter they're giving you like the opportunity like yeah if you, if you just, the if you like just get this that. you're in it's like yeah it's like you know when, when you for example uh, and because uh, we're so much about cars it's like ford picking you to buy the ford gt at that uh, point you just yeah. need to pay for the car yeah you know, exactly. that's it it's like they've given this to here or ferrari like if ferrari says buy la ferrari you know that car is going to be worth triple as soon as you buy it yeah but them giving you that opportunity yeah, yeah. at that point you just need to say here yeah because guys these cars are like very rare cars super like limited obviously so when you buy them for the price that they're selling from the dealership the aftermarket price is way higher it's way higher and the hard part is getting to the point where they choose you yeah. So I got chosen. My offer letter was three A's. Yeah. Get three A's, you're in. And I ended up getting A A B. Crushing. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Guys, I was I was sad. Like you know, like when you open that envelope and you get your grades and you're like, ah. Oh. And then. Cause you, the, I, I, you know what? Maybe I think cause. Because in the first year you did so well without trying at yeah, all. Yeah, I, I just, you know. You became a bit complacent. So the thing is, even if I did bad, I should have still got it. But I did very bad in one subject. So like, I'm telling you guys, I went from A star to C and it averaged out to a B. B in the so it's like, I did so, like, even if I got a B, I still would have got an A. But I did so bad where I, I missed it. Like, I was... I bet your mom, your sister, they were like, more. No, I no, no. They I, no, no, they weren't. They, like we were, I was sad. I was more sad than them. But it's like they didn't really. They, they were. They were like they weren't. They didn't care that as much as you. It, obviously, they're sad for me. It's like for okay, me, it's okay. like they. But that but they was, weren't like disappointed. No, in no, 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 no. But that was the best bad moment I think I had. Yeah, it's like, and I'm so happy that happened. Like, and I know, guys, it's so crazy to say. Now seeing that, I'm really, I'm really happy I messed up. Because if you. Because if I didn't, and I was going to the best university in London, I would never do a YouTube you'd channel. Never, you'd never make videos. I'd never make videos, you know, like. Never be a vlogger. So, that's the craziest thing, you know, this is like a, this could be like a whole video on its own, this kind of lesson. Like, sometimes what you think is the worst failure in, in your life whole life actually out. makes the best moments. Yeah. They say like a, a, a mistake can cost you a million. Or make you a billion. a billion. Yeah. Exactly. And guys, I'm not earn you a billion. No, 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 we're not there. We're not there. <laughs> so, and that's the thing, guys. That's why I always, always trust in God. You know, like sometimes a door gets slammed in your face while you're trying to go through it. You know, and you're like, oh. And, and for me, that's it was it. like, you're like, that's it. What else? For me, do? it was like, guys, that was like 
the worst feeling ever because to work so hard to get that offer letter to do because I failed because of myself. It wasn't that I, I couldn't. Yeah, no excuse. You can blame I, it. On I, I couldn't blame it on anyone. You're a smart guy. I was smart. I could have studied. I just didn't. Yeah. But I'm happy I failed. Yeah. I'm really, really that's, happy. I and failed. I'm sure right now that's like the weirdest thing for you to say. Like right. Yeah. Now. Like in hindsight, it's like no one wants to say. I'm happy that I lost. You know, I'm happy that it happened because. If I was going there, I would, I'd never, you know, I'd, yeah, I'd make yeah. sure, guys, if you're going to the best university, you're not like, gonna leave, yeah. if you're going to Harvard, I don't think you're going to say, eh, actually, first, let me be a vlogger, <laughs> you know, first year at Harvard, let me, let me just not continue and go to YouTube. make YouTube videos. So anyways, and especially at that time, that time, nobody was really making vlogs as much. You were one of the first, it, especially in this region. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, there, there was, but people didn't understand it as much as yeah. people now, like nowadays, now everyone's a vlogger. Everyone knows I'm a YouTube vlogger. Is. He's a vlogger. And everybody's the thing a vlogger. Is, and everybody knows you can make money. Like back then, no, we didn't know you could make money. We didn't know, yeah. It's like, there wasn't like 10 YouTubers that were had Lamborghinis and this and this. Like yeah. back then people were like, they were making good money, but they were hiding it. You know, like yeah. they didn't want others to know about yeah. this like secret. That's <laughs> what? true. Now they, yeah, that's actually true. These days guys, YouTubers are very open. Like iron millions, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're like, yeah, back, back then, no, the day, no, like everyone. Because they, they didn't want, they didn't want the competition. They were time. making better money, but back they then. didn't want the competition. They, they didn't want the smoke, you know? Yeah. They're so, like, no, no, it's, it's a waste of time. Yeah. Not the YouTube videos, guy. just uh, whatever. <laughs> no, and, and that's the thing. It's like when you're onto something special, they didn't want to say it. But so, anyways, I don't get into LSE, which is the best university. I get my second option, which is Queen Mary, still an amazing university. Good, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave the rank of these two uni guys so you can have an idea. Anyways, I go to my. Queen Mary, um, I do a year in university. Yes, yeah, so you do one year. Yeah. And how was that year, the experience? Oh, I hated it. The worst year of my life. Like, you know when you're just like, you know you're wasting your life? No, and, and not because that I'm studying, not because of the studying. It's just like, I know that's not what I want to do. That's your purpose. That's, that's, yeah, that's not what I want to do. It wasn't your calling. So I went there, guys, and literally, I remember this, I'd go every day to university. I'd sit through lectures on my phone, literally playing games, yeah. to, like the entire lectures. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm at <laughs> university right now, guys. So, so. And, and I don't recommend it. <laughs> don't, don't do that, <laughs> study. And guys, I'm saying this again. Studying is important. If you want to be a doctor, don't skip the studying yeah. part of That's it. what I think. Honestly, I think if you want to go into the, one of those specialized jobs, like if you want to be something like one of those specialized fields, like doctor, lawyer, Dentist, and not even that, no, to be honest, it's, it, I think it's more crucial. Yeah, it's more ones. crucial, but even if you do want to do, like, let's say business, right? If you want to learn about it, go for it. But yeah. if you don't want to learn about it, don't go to learn, because that's what you're yeah. doing. You're learning, right? If you don't want to actually learn about it and you want to learn in another way. My dad told me, like, he's like, um, some, like, in university, you may not like what you're learning, but you learn how to learn. It's also a good point because like you spend so much time like uh, uh, you, you you learn to work hard like you know yeah focus like one hour on a lecture write notes you know it's, it's a good skill yeah it's a good skill so yeah anyways, I, I did the the year in university after the biggest upset right and you know you're going to your second option, your second option you know you're going yeah. to your second option and every day in your head it's like I could have been at the best yeah you know so you finished the first year so and you give yourself I, I was in university yeah. so I was in university I was like I want to do something else I want to do something else and so I started YouTube while I was in university I, I while, you're in YouTube. while I was in university I started uploading but once a week it, it wasn't it wasn't that great you know so let me just try this out. let me just try this out and then when I reached the end of the year guys um, I, w I was done I was like I don't want this anymore and what I did is I didn't leave because if I left, then I'm just jumping into the ocean, you know, like with, with no life vest, you know. So it's like, yeah. yeah, guys. Warren Buffett has a quote. He says like, "Don't test the depth of the water with both feet." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah like, like you might as well just, just step one foot like, in there, check your, how deep it your is. toe inside, like you know, get a feel, so and then jump. So that's what I did. I, I took a gap year. So a gap year in London, you can take it. So. If you've done you your said, first yeah. year, if you do your first year, you can take a gap and continue at the second year. So you don't lose the first year. And I said, listen, you're going to take a gap year, do whatever the hell you want in this one year. Try it. You're and artist. if you do well to a level, you can not come back, right? Like if you can prove that you're good without studying, go for it. If you can't, 
get back inside. So you're, you're realistic with it. Yeah, you I'll give yourself like a plan, like, listen, worst comes to worst, it doesn't work out, I'm gonna try my best for what I wanna do. If it doesn't work out, I, I'll keep this option with yeah, it. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, guys, I always say this a lot of people, they look at like billionaires, right? Bill Gates and, uh, you know, yeah. Steve Jobs, and like, well, they didn't Drop study. Outs. Yeah, they're dropouts. So I have to drop out. Like, dropping out does not make you successful. And then there's billionaires that probably have three degrees. You know, yeah. Like, dropping out does not make probably you successful. More of them. Yeah, there's more billionaires that actually have education that don't. So that that's not like that's not the the part that makes you successful. It, it's kind of like you. So I was like, okay, you're gonna you're gonna take a gap. Do whatever and that's when i started daily vlogging like literally i was out of university we came to dubai every day boom boom so boom. you knew you had the gap here so you said if i'm gonna start going hard on this i should move to dubai no so and that was also another reason for the gap here so it was kind of like a family situation where my sister was in dubai and then we she had already graduated from Queen Mary. yeah so she already got so she graduated from the university that you were going to yeah, so she already was done, she was here, and we were already planning on shifting here, and it just made sense. So I came and I was like, I don't want to just be sitting around, I want to do something, you know? So let me let me start daily vlogging. So I came, start daily vlogging, and it was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, like, you know when you start something, guys, you're not going to be good. You're I actually not. saw a video recently at Mo, and I'm going to keep a small clip. I remember you first came to Dubai, and you're filming the Lamborghini, the white Lamborghini yeah. that you guys see. And he's like, I, I have this clip, it's, it's so crazy. You're holding the key, and you're like, wait, how do I open this? Like, how, do, how do I open this car? So let's go ahead and open it. Hopefully I don't do anything wrong. Let's turn it around, see if we can get into it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Imagine, like, guys, at that time, he, he was thinking, he was, he was struggling, he's like, how do I open this Lamborghini door? You yeah. Know? <laughs> he didn't know he was a clueless kid. Uh, I was a clueless kid, so. Broke kid. <laughs> you know kid. So I just started daily vlogging. Very awkward kid, very weird kid. No reason to even make it on YouTube, right? And I think that's it. It's like, I just went every day, every day, every day, every day, until it just hit. And I, I always say this, guys, I feel like it's not always about being the best. It's also sometimes about your intentions and like you, you sometimes you just need God to be on your side. Yeah, like I always say this guys, yeah. you kind of you need a bit of luck and, and I and I heard someone say this. It was like luck is when operation oppor opportunity meets preparation. Meets preparation yes, right? I agree with that. Exactly. 100%. So I agree with that. So I I did get lucky, but the opportunity came and I was prepared and I was going for it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's a good quote, yes. You know, a lot of people just think luck, 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 but the luck can come and you might not be ready for it, you know? So yeah, exactly. You, from your side, you need to do your best and then leave the rest to God. Yeah, exactly. So, it just it just went from there and I started daily vlogging, daily vlogging. And but like, this, guys, I want to I wanna, I wanna stop you for a second if yeah, you don't mind. Yeah. So, this is around the time now that I started to notice you. Yeah, I started to see him for videos, and for me, honestly, before you, I hadn't seen any videos, any videos, because I was born in Dubai. I've lived my whole life here. I haven't seen any videos on YouTube of Dubai and the lifestyle here. There was nothing, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think there was at the time. There wasn't Anyways, too much. Yeah. Yeah. So I used to love your your vlogs because they were like, for me, this was like something that. I could relate to just yeah. like my city I was seeing him go around the places that I used to go to so I used to like I used yeah. to enjoy watching your videos and this is around the time I think when I reached out to you you had around like 500,000 subscribers so you had already made it to a certain extent yeah right? yeah you, had, we're, you, we're passed started, the yeah. you got the 100k plaque yeah but that journey must have been the hardest from like 0 to 100k yeah that's so, like just daily, yeah, daily, daily. The, the, yeah the 0 to 100 is like the hardest because it's like to build a base it's like you're building something, it's like there's nothing there, you know? Yeah. So once you have Zero it, to one is the hardest, and then... That's yeah, the and then say, after yeah. that, it just... You can't Momentum, keep Momentum, flow, you know? Yeah. So that's what happened, guys. I started daily vlogging, and just things just started falling into place. But I, it's not that I wasn't working, but like... Just stuff was happening. Like, I remember... Ahmed messaged me. Yeah. He was like, hey, I watch your yeah. videos. Do you want to drive a Bugatti? Because you were putting in the hard work. Like, you know, every, every, everybody in Dubai could see, like... This guy is doing his thing and he's going like all out, you know, he's trying his hardest, making videos, everything. Guys, you don't understand, like when I met Mo, 
I remember, okay, he came to the showroom, we gave him a Bugatti, me and him went for a drive, I'll put a small snippet of that as well. And then, what happened, like, a few, even, even for the Bugatti, guys, you don't understand how busy Mo was. I emailed him for the Bugatti. By the way, he emailed me on April 1st. That was a mistake on my April mind. Fool's Day. <laughs> April Fool's Day. I didn't Day, realize. I, didn't I realize. got an email from a kid saying, hey. Like a 14 year old. 14 year old kid on April Fool's Day, do you want to drive my uncle's Bugatti or my family's Bugatti? I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Of course. You want to go to a random place in Dubai, just drive the Bugatti. It did, it did, I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. And and also, you were so busy that even after, so then I, I made my dad, I told my dad, like, could you reach out to him? So my dad sent him, like, an email from, like, the business email, you know, with the business domain. And he's like, you know, my son's not messing around. Yeah, he's not messing serious. around. We actually do have we, a Bugatti. And we want you to come. This is your business email. Because that was the only way I could contact you at the time, through his business email. Yeah. So then, Mo's like, okay, I'm down. But then, I think we... I remember it's, like waiting like, like one or two One weeks. or two months. No, I remember like one month. Yeah, like, it's, I, yeah it's already a month. About yeah, a month, because yeah. like Mo was like so busy with what he's doing. And guys, even after that, I, I specifically remember like after that, Mo would like, okay, like we do that video, it's amazing. But you were like so busy. I remember you used to come, like call me, like, hey bro, are you at the showroom? I said, I say like, yeah. He's like, okay, bro, cool. I'm going to come and record some stuff. I said sure, and I remember he used to come, half an hour, record, like what's up, everything's good, yeah, good, off the next thing, and yeah. I, guys, I, I don't think you understand this, at that, like till only, till now, yeah. you do a lot of your own editing, which is yeah. so weird, yeah. and I remember times like, imagine guys, you wake up in the morning, okay, you wake up, let's say, 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., okay, you no, edit, back then, like when I saw it, it was actually even 9 a.m., yeah, 9 a.m. Okay, you wake up at 9 a.m. because you need you need as much time as you can get. Wake up at 9 a.m. You have to uh, you have to edit yesterday's video. So I used to yeah this, this yeah this is my pattern. I used to wake up 9 a.m. Edit till about 1 2 p.m. Start the vlog day at 2 till 9. That's that's four or five hours of editing, guys. If you don't understand, like yeah. that's like four or five hours just sitting there editing. So, so yeah. now you finish at so what yeah, time? Finish at around 1 2 uh, depending one, two. on the day, you know. And now between. 2 and 9 p.m. which is when he's gonna upload that video that he just edited I he has to film a whole new video and then upload and then still go out to record yeah guys I don't think you can imagine like you wake up you edit for five hours and now you have a small span of like four or five hours you should make a whole new video I remember sometimes I called Mo like bro where are you he's like bro I'm at, Mo uh, I'm at, I'm at Dubai mall okay what are you doing He's like, oh, I'm just seeing some stuff. I'm trying vlog. to find content. Yeah, yeah so I'm and just then trying. I call him after like one hour. Where are you? I'm at MOE. He's went to. He's gone to MOE Another now. Another mall. Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I used to do that a lot. Yeah. I used to go to malls trying to find. Just different, cool gadgets. Because imagine, like, at some point you're gonna wake up. Like, okay, the first few days you have an idea. I'm gonna do this for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna record this. Day after I'm gonna record that. But at a certain point, how, how long did you consistently do that? I, I think it was like three and a half years. Three and a half years of daily vlogging. Yeah. Like. I, I think after the first two weeks, what are you gonna record, man? Yeah, what are you gonna record? It's like yeah, like now to. imagine you. So he used to go like from one mall to the other mall to another mall, three, four malls in one in one day. Just find anything. He goes to the Virgin <laughs> store, like buy a gadget anything, or anything, drama, anything, anything I can record, man. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. It's crazy because like guys, there's a level of planning you can do because you can say, all right, today there's a car, but today there's this car planned, or today we're gonna do this. Yeah. But daily vlog and that's the thing I, I always tell people like it did kill me like it exhausts like right now by the way guys I don't work half as hard as I used to because it drained me like guys now I do have someone that helps me edit my videos but still you do a lot of yeah I, I still do the touches guys because I still need my little touch to it yeah. but I have the more, the more vlogs created yeah you need that little touch but I still I have a lot more help than when I start because when you start you're number one you're not making that that money that you yeah. are now Number two, even if you are, you don't know how to find that team yeah, of people. Yeah. So it's like, it's just so new. I remember I, I asked Mo like a while ago, I was like, Mo, why don't you get an editor? And he told me something that really made sense to me at the time. He's like, if I'm gonna, people are watching me, first of all, for the way I make videos. You know, that's why they're watching my videos, because they like the way I make videos. And he's like, if I'm gonna sit down and, and with, with an editor and tell him what to do and just sit with him and explain to him which, how to edit the video, 
I may as well just do it myself rather than yeah. just sitting there. And so, but then, yeah, now, nowadays it makes sense because I'm not daily uploading. So imagine trying to daily upload and teach someone to do your day, and then you can't, yeah. you know? But anyways, now it's a lot easier, but you really need to, and that's why I'm really happy I did it because sometimes I tell people it's like, in your job, like even let's say like when it comes to Elon Musk and stuff, they say you need to know everything because one day if I don't have an editor, I can edit. That's true. One day if I don't have a manager, I know how to manage my deals. Yeah, you have to So you need to know how to do everything because you don't want yeah, to get to a day where your editor You're quits, relying on somebody else. Your manager quits yeah. or somebody goes and it's like I you, I can't, you can't function I, without I can't them. function without them because yeah. now it's I'm dependent on them. So Elon Musk guys, Elon Musk is crazy as well. Like I heard recently the guy works 80 hours a week. Yeah. So if you don't know that's like 11 hours a day. Yeah. And like I heard even sometimes on a lot of the days when when things are when things are busy at, at, at Tesla he just sleeps there yeah you like imagine his house is like maybe 10 15 minutes away he's like, nope. but he's just so tired and so drained from the whole day of working like 11 hours of the day just full-on working that he just ends up sleeping over there yeah in in the Tesla now probably he has like a nice, yeah, really nice, nice bed yeah, at Tesla yeah, he has yeah, a yeah, huge yeah, room yeah. That's like a huge like mansion just for the bed. But still, he can't even drive to his family's house, which is probably like 15, 20 minutes away because of how busy he is. Yeah. Success yeah. comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Oof. How do you like that one? Oof. Oh, <laughs> I wanted the coach. Guys, I'm not going to open the coach out. But anyways, guys, in hindsight, I think the best, <laughs> it sounds stupid to say this, the best things that happened to me were because of the worst moments, you know? Yeah. Like anything hard that happened to me, anything... And you, you guys know, I haven't had the best family situation online, you know, like there's a big missing piece of it, but I feel like also me kind of like having to take on the, the, the role, of the, the role the of the man in the family, like it's not something that you should be happy about, but it makes you, you it know, it teaches you, uh, yeah, it teaches you because now it's like you don't have someone to depend on. Yeah. So now it's like, it's either I do it or no there's one, no, there's no other option, there's no yeah. other option. It's like I either do it. Or I just it, fail. It, it, it basically it pushes you to the deep end. Yeah, it's like, and, I, and I read this quote somewhere. Being broke is hard. Amazing. Being rich is hard. Choose your heart. Yeah. That's good it's like yeah. both are hard. Like Big being up. successful is hard, and being broke is also hard. So choose your heart. So it's, in that point, I was like, listen, I can just. That's a, that's true. Actually, they both come with a lot of difficulty. Yeah. So success is hard. Being broke is hard. Choose your heart. Like, and I say, you can either now fall, cry Please, about some, it, make some merch for us. Yeah, merch makes some. Being guys. broke is hard. <laughs> I made, I, I made a, a oh, merch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was broke with the master yeah. kind of thing. It, it didn't sell out that way. Well, I don't yeah. think people wanted to wear broke on that. <laughs> Next time, I'll ride successful. You know. But that's that's life. You win some, you lose some. You win some, some you lose some. Yeah. I want to ask you one last thing. One last thing before we cut it off. So yeah. this was. Guys, in this video, I just wanted to take you briefly throughout the road of success for MoVlogs, what choices you made, what failures you had on your path, and how that path led you to where you are today. Huh. And one thing I want to ask you, what's your opinion on um, being successful? Now now that you've made it, <coughs> now that you've like, probably, you're, now he's, he, guys, if you don't know, a lot of people don't know this, Mo actually has an Arabic channel now. Yeah. So for the last two months, most consistently been uploading in a language that he doesn't even know of. By the way, that was like genius. Like props to you. And now he has like a whole new market. Like if after you dominate the English market, like now he's like dominating no, the whole I, Arabic. Like, and I, and I made that, that. That wasn't really like I. I don't think that was like a move I made trying to be smart. You know, that was kind of just like a. I have a lot of Arabic friends and a very very close friend that you guys know, Nareen, which has always been you know in my videos and stuff. So. It just made a lot of sense because it was more like I really enjoyed it, especially just around. Yeah, but you know, sometimes when you when, when you put in the work, even though you don't, you don't, it's not like your plan to make a lot of money from it or something. Yeah, like honestly, but when, when, you, when you're gonna put in the work, like good things are gonna happen. Yeah, so that's what. I, I think with that situation, I didn't even make it for it to do well. I made it for the the moment. You know, <laughs> it was more like I just enjoyed making these Arabic yeah. videos, and it was more like but a, then good things happen. You know, it, you, you it, put it, in the work, good things. Happen yeah, honestly, guys, like I, like now you can start selling. Arabic merch and it's like a whole <laughs> I, Arabic songs. I, I haven't actually thought about that till now, but yeah, guys, I didn't make an Arabic channel, and that that's the thing, guys. Sometimes in life, the craziest things happen. Like you just do stuff. So yeah, in hindsight, yeah. now that you've made it, you've made it, bro. Yeah, like to a sense, yeah. I don't think, and that's the thing, guys. I always say it's like, 
it just depends on you like how bad do you want to keep making it you know it's like yeah. you can get to a million subscribers and just be like all right i'm good yeah you can get to five and anyway, but that's the thing for me it's like but for you like I, I feel like you're at a place now in your life where you're happy with where you are you're, you're gonna consistently work obviously you're not gonna I, just retire I'm, I'm happy but i still have a lot more to prove a lot more to prove you know yeah and, and that's that's how but I, you have you have like started to chill out a bit more what do you say I did up until a few months ago and, and, and then like wrapped it up again and then it's like some stuff like in me just happened where it's like I felt like I need to do more like you know it's like sometimes you have these moments in life where you just you just get kind of like set back emotionally you're like wait am I doing enough so it's like right now guys I'm gonna be honest I'm really trying to amp it up again so general in general i i am very happy with where i am and but in the current in the current state yeah i'm, I'm still trying to going through. i'm trying to push through a lot more like i i need to prove more you know you're dealing with some stuff yeah and you feel like you're happy with where you're at yeah generally looking back at it i can't regret anything yeah you know i mean not nothing crazy anyways <laughs> yeah i'm happy and i'm just now it's just like i just want to see where i do end up going yeah. How old are you now, Mo? 25. 25. I'm kind of disappointed, though. Really? <laughs> I always told myself at 25 you'd be a billionaire, and I'm just I'm not really? even close. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're 20... close though. No, uh, but you know, but everybody has a timeline. It's, it's good to set goals with with a specific date, but everybody's working on their own timeline, and and I feel like at this point, it's not being a billionaire is, is isn't even like your main focus. Like yeah, 100. percent I feel like even, even even like if you start a road to become a billionaire, like at some point you might realize like you know what, for me that's I'm happy, not for me. Yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's all about being content, man. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think don't let money drive you because that won't make you happy ever. That's actually a big lesson you taught me. Tell them about that. Yeah, lesson. guys, and I and I always say this no matter who I'm around. And I'm happy I'm in this position to say this because if someone that doesn't have money tells you You won't believe it. They're lying to you. You know, <laughs> if you don't have money, don't tell me that money doesn't make you happy. But guys, honestly You wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know, right? But honestly, the money doesn't make you happy. It's it's and I and I know it sounds stupid say from a guy that vlogs money and lifestyle and more money and billionaires and millionaires, but money does not make you happy. It is a good resource. Yeah. It is something good. It's better to have money than not have money. But it doesn't make you happy. It's just you need to do what you like. You need to get to where you want to get to. And if the money comes, it comes. But don't judge your happiness on that because it will never make you happy. Yeah. Never. And I'm telling you as a fact, guys, like you know, I was so excited when I bought my first Ferrari. But right now, if I see a Ferrari, I, I don't have that feeling. It's like, you know, it's like when you have your first love, it's like you will never get that same first love feeling again. And as you go through life, you have more of like now you, then when you buy your first Lamborghini, it's like, then you lose that love again. Then you lose that love. So the journey is amazing, but trust me, sometimes when you get everything, it's it's kind of kind of depressing. I know, I know, it sounds like a stupid problem to have, right? But it's like no, the it journey, sense, like yeah. enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey yeah. without rushing to the end goal. Because yeah. once you get there, you're the, there. The fun is in the journey. The fun is in the journey. So just, Enjoy what you're doing, keep at it, and have try to have as much fun as possible. Uh, these days, like, you know, a lot of people, I think a lot of people are, are starting to realize that that it's about happiness as well, you know, yeah. securing your happiness and not gauging your happiness on, on a certain monetary amount. Number, like, yeah. yeah, don't tell yourself, like, when I make money only, only then I deserve to be happy, or if I reach this goal, only then I deserve to be happy. But what more told me was gauge it on if, if you're working hard, you should be happy. Yeah. Whether the money's there or not, if you're if you feel like you're you're really trying and and you're putting a lot of your effort or as much effort as you could be, then you should be happy. Because yeah. at some point, with uh, with that in mind and with that with that come. attitude, it's gonna it's bound to come. Alright, guys, we love you all. We're gonna end off the podcast right here. Whatever you want to call this episode, guys. If leave your comments down below. This is like a first video. I want to know what you guys thought about it. Did you guys enjoy the video? Uh, obviously, it's not gonna be the best episode we filmed ever. <laughs> It'll you get know, better. It'll get it's better. gonna get better. This is like something new for me. I'm a beginner in this. I I love watching podcasts. I watch podcasts every day, and I thought I'd try it out. Obviously, it's my first one. I'm not gonna be that great at it, 
but it's a journey guys it's a journey so leave your thoughts and comments down below i hope to see you again i hope yes. to make another video soon if it does well guys if it doesn't do well most like i'm not gonna no <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time you're gonna see me never again <laughs> most like man your podcast got 200 views man don't ask me for another one <laughs> no, 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 okay. so guys let me know what you thought thank you so much peace Mo. love guys the sun is, is hitting your face in weirdest ways ever so we're thank gonna... you so much no, for, love, for love, this love. time i really appreciate you and right now we're going to an event guys so Hard work, Let's dedication, go. commitment. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to my channel today. <laughs> what are you saying, man?